Welcome back to the WD Magic Cast for our week of November 6, 2022. This is episode 202. WD Magic Cast, the show about the mouse, the marvels, the galaxy, and beyond. I'm your host, Matthew Graken. In this week's episode, you may notice some things differently because we're coming live from the All Star Sports Resort as I do a walkthrough and tell you a few things about this value resort in Walt Disney World. We'll be back after these messages from our friends and sponsors. Well, hello there. I hope you're enjoying this week's episode of the Disney Marvels podcast. If you have a little bit of free time and you'd like to check out something a little bit different, I encourage you to listen to the chat Disney podcast. My name is Mercedes and I am one half of the Chat Disney podcast. Myself and my friend Tash are both based in the UK and we give a female British view on all things Disney from parks, movies and even more. Check out the Chat Disney podcast at chatdisney.co.uk. April of 1994. Disney decided to get into the value resorts. They were expanding what options they had to stay at on property. They have the all-star resorts open up. Now they're considered part of the Animal Kingdom area. They are the furthest from most of the parks. They're closest to Animal Kingdom. And then you have the studios, but they are further out. And you have three of them. You have all-star sports, all-star music, all-star movies. Now the original one being all-star sports, open April of 1994. And this is where we find ourselves today. The all-stars can all kind of be seen as similar in cookie cutter kind of in a way. Where, and they're very similar to pop in the essential, in the essence that they have a central building with in this case it says all-star in front of it and it's got its name in this case all-star sports you have a giant star and stars all over the outside of the building in fact if you were to look at the main entrance of any of these any of these resorts they'd all look relatively the same in this case this one's the sports this is the oldest of them this, like i said april 94 music came along in november of 94 and you didn't have movies open up until 2000, 2002, I believe it was. So, a little bit of time there. You have several main themed buildings. Here you have the surf building, you have the football building, you have the baseball building, and you have the tennis buildings. Themed relatively outside, they have the large icons outside of it. But let's take a walk. Come walk with me as we go through. So if you hear a lot of noise, it's because I am, like I said, live walking through the entranceway. There's stars in the pavement and the concrete here. Go through doors into the, the lobby, which again has a star, star pattern. The desks have a familiar, they have the locker look to them. They look like they have high school lockers, sports room lockers, that's the motif for the, the concierge and the guest service desks. Different lanes, almost like a sports lane type of pattern on the floor. Once through the main lobby, you have goofy sports gift stand and sundries off to the one side. You have on to your left, you also have the door to go out to the transportation. One main bus stop for all the buildings. You get picked up in front of the main building, you get dropped off in front of the main building to all your, your park resorts. Goofy Sports Sundries is a nice little area. You got your gift shop, you have all your gift needs. You also can pick up some snacks, you can pick up some different drinks, personal belongings if you need them. Just outside of it, you do also have your All-Star Sports Hall of Fame little portrait that has just some trophies, some little sports things that I have going on. But along the wall, just beyond that, you have a giant green wall with pictures of all different athletes in their sports. Michael Phelps swimming. You have Serena Williams playing tennis, uh, baseball players, race car drivers, 
it looks like Danica Patrick uh, um, in her racing outfit. Muhammad Ali, boxing, you have a surfer. You have someone from the Houston Oilers, uh, Houston Oilers, the Oilers hockey team. You have Babe Ruth playing baseball, Tony Hawk skateboarding, Phil Nicholson playing golf, LeBron James playing basketball, of course, soccer players. Felix running, you have Eli Manning, quarterback, in run. Mr. Nate Trainer playing volleyball. Sean, Sean White, surfboarding. Sean Kwan, ice skating. You have a whole bunch of stuff going on. On this wall, lots of pictures. Looks great, really adds to the motif, and again, brings you to another All-Star Sports Hall of Fame trophy. Now, just to the other side of me here, there's a wall for cast members, but then you have the Game Points Arcade. Just like any other arcade in the resorts, you have a lot of different activities, different games you can play. It's fairly sizable. You have Ski Ball, you have the Basketball, you have Giant Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Large Space Invaders, a whole bunch of different type of arcade machines to spend your time on. I personally don't use those too often because I'm in Disney World, not an arcade. Right across from the arcade, you have the end zone, which is your food court. Lots of food options. You've got seating all through the left side. It's not a huge amount of seating, but it's a fair amount. You have the market area. You have different themed areas. You have your burger area. You have your pasta area. You have your sandwiches, kids' meals, and my favorite, the desserts, of course. Lots of options. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight registers at any one time that could be open. You also, like I said, the market where you, you pick up, choose what you want. You have the Grandstand Spirits as well, which is the, the poor board they have. That's their menu. So you can get more adult libations there to choose from, and if you so please. And there's also the pickup pizza. You have your famous puffy Disney pizza. You have your beverage stand, of course, that has all sorts of Coke products and iced teas and coffee to choose from. But leaving now, leaving the food court area, you again, you still have the bar area extends out. So you can sit outside and overlook, which is the main pool, the surf pool the largest pool here at All-Star Sports and it's a decent sized pool got lounge chairs all around it umbrellas a lot of seating options to come and enjoy immediately outside of the main building you have the surf rooms a lot of these rooms are now currently and this is like I said 2002 are under renovation for their new look this is a resort, like I said, that opened in 1994. You have a lot of stuff that needs to be, and it needs a, a little updating. It's not, not up to standards of a lot of the other resorts. They're doing this over Caribbean Beach, or doing it over at Dixie Landings, <laughs> uh, Port Orleans, I apologize. So rooms are getting renovated. They're working on it now. Maybe by the time you're down here, you get to see some of the new rooms. They have cornhole going on. They'll do movies at night. They have a lot of activities that happen. Now, if you walk to your right, you run into another little building. And this building here is the Surf's Up Bathhouse. That's the sign that says it's actually not that exciting. It's the bathrooms and the guest laundry. As many of the resorts have, there is a laundry building within, uh, within the property. So you can enjoy, in case if you need to, not necessarily enjoy, but if you need to get your stuff washed, there you go. Throughout the property, there are also table, table tennis courts. There's also some large other games. So as I'm walking around, heading back towards the main building, I'm going to cut up. You have checkerboards and chessboards on the ground large size that you can play not just the small little table ones but these ones that the pieces for the chest maybe about 
foot and a half, almost two feet tall. Good to use, good to activity to, to play around outside. In the surf area, you really, again, you got the pool, not too much else going on here. And the decorations, decorations on the building is of a giant surfboard and waves across the rooftop and on the banisters, fish. Each of the buildings is three stories tall. You have the main floor, the middle floor, and the top floor. So depending on your preference, you have those options. There is an elevator or lift to take you from the first floor up to the third or second floor. There's also staircases on the ends of the, each of the buildings that you can use to get up and down as well. In total, there's 1,920 rooms in this resort. Now on the other side over here, this is to the left of the main building, you have the football area. Now there's no pool in front of the football area. There is a large open courtyard set up with two goalposts at the end. The large icons for the football, where you had the surfboards at the surf area, is two large football helmets. Either end of the courtyard are two goal posts and there's a giant green turf type design right down the middle of the courtyard 50 yard is the mickey symbol where in disney world you have to have a mickey and then you have a play they have a football play mapped out on the turf here good area for the kids to run up and down have some fun enjoy themselves design theming is a little different on on the buildings here so here you have the goalpost line you have 10 20 30 you have all the yard markers all the way down except for the 50 because the 50 is where the helmets are you also have along on the banisters on the railings you have crowds it looks like you're in the grandstands and along top you have flags with a bunch of different letters for colleges and a bunch of college names college pennants all over the buildings all over the top so you have the blue devils you have the cardinals the tigers eagles panthers badgers cougars wildcats terrapins go maryland demon deacons bulldogs georgia hawkeyes gators of course we're in florida cowboys and a whole bunch of other teams i'm not going to name them all because i don't want to bore you that much but it's a nice area you have even benches designed like football benches that you find on the side of a football field along the side there's even the grandstands at the very end of this area so that's the football area which leads you into the next area this one's set up a little differently instead of two buildings paralleling each other all the buildings are in a t-shape you have the baseball section which brings us to the second pool the baseball diamond pool which is the smaller pool and the second of the two pools here this area is set up like a baseball stadium you have a giant home run you have the giant scoreboard on the one side you have the visitor side you have the home team side the pool itself is shaped like a baseball diamond even with the backstop cage for the for the catcher for to keep the ball in play you have baseball bats along the side of the buildings baseballs on the and you know, pennants on the uh, on the railings and along the top you have the major league baseball teams the Sox, the red Sox, the white Sox, the rangers the marlins who else you got up here the giants the dodgers orioles cubs a's you got most of them looks like they got just about everybody on top of the bathroom and another guest laundry it looks like they put grandstands up there as well oh and i forgot to mention at the end of the football buildings the staircases 
are themed to look like giant footballs. I'm talking about American football, of course, for my international listeners. The surfing ones look like they are uh, lifeguard chairs. Got to mention that. The buildings here are green. The football ones are multitude of colors. The surfing ones are primarily blue. In the center of this pool, though, is a water feature, a water, water fountain, where you have Goofy, the pitcher, ready to throw a ball, and there is a cannon shooting water out next to a bunch of baseballs. So it's a fun little pool. Again, nothing crazy. You have a number of lounge chairs and beach chairs set about to enjoy. There is a lifeguard stand, but nothing it's not quite as grand as the other ones but it's a nice you'll probably find it to be a little quieter pool to enjoy heading to my right from the baseball pool you walk past the guest laundry and they even have the stand they even have like the field lights behind the stands it's very well themed surprisingly well themed for a value resort where Pop Century, you have all the different little pop things. This one, this one really takes the cake. Even the center where the staircases are for the baseball is giant Coke uh, cups. Coca-Cola ran on the side. Go figure. They are sponsor at Walt Disney World. But you have the staircases in those. Even to get to the stairs, to get into the buildings are step down just like you would in a dugout and then step back up to get back out of them. Coming along, moving past all the baseballs. The lighting's nice. I'm recording this at night. And it's a nice, quiet night. Actually, Hurricane Nicole or Tropical Storm Nicole is on her way to pay a visit to the area. So if you see me going live and I'm getting wet, you'll understand if you haven't been paying attention uh, to the local weather of Florida. If you don't live in Florida, you may not hear what's going on, but the Weather Channel's been talking about it. Further along, we have the tennis buildings. Now, the staircases are themed on the tennis buildings as, I don't know the technical name on them, I apologize, they're the canisters that tennis balls come in. And it says bolding all right, written on the side, it's those, if you've seen them, if you've gone to a sports store, if you ever play tennis, you know those canisters usually have about three tennis balls in them. The little pop tops keep the balls nice and fresh. That's on this, what's its uh, theming of the staircases. These buildings are green as well. You have the main, they have a courtyard in this one as well. Again, only two pools here, baseball and the main pool in the surfing area. This courtyard is set up like, go figure, a tennis court. You have a tennis court on, with a tennis net down the side, or it's down the middle. You have Huey, Dewey, and Louie playing baseball, as on the other side of the court, you have Donald Duck looking to try and play, play tennis. But his nephews have other plans as usual. Along the top here, you have tennis scores on the top of the buildings. And theming on the railings, uh, let me get a little closer here, because it's apparently only on the one side of the building here. Oh, sorry. The railings are actually themed to be looking like tennis nets. With the white for the chain link and a green bit on top. You also have two giant tennis rackets with tennis balls across the area. And the two center giant items are the referee chairs that you would find on either side of a, a tennis net or a tennis, tennis court. Again, a nice area for the kids to run around and play. The statues, 
uh, Louie is pitching, Huey's at bat, and Dewey's catching in the middle of a, again, a tennis game where Donald is doing his best Andre Agassi about to smash his net and screaming at the boys to, to get the game on. I'll be posting pictures on the, the social networks soon so you'll be able to see them up there. They also have flags on the top of these buildings. It's decently themed. Decently themed. Baseball, I think, is the best of the theming. Uh, followed by the football, tennis, and the surfing's not bad. That's my that's my personal preference. It's just my personal preference. But heading down the tennis court past the nephews, heading more towards back to the center, you have ample parking all around the resort. If you bring your car, don't forget you do have to pay for parking nowadays at a Disney resort if you decide to bring your own vehicle, BYOV. Otherwise, the minivans are back. You can you can call for a minivan or another rideshare service. You have Disney's bus service that comes along, but like I said, you have to pick that up. In front of the main building, there is a designated spot for them. Oh, I forgot, there is one more theme section. In relatively the center, the heart of this resort, there is a statue. You know what? This is actually a very nice area. It's a little courtyard in the center of them with Mickey on a statue, on a pedestal, arms spread out in a cheerful Mickey display with flags behind them and a sign that says Disney's All-Star Resorts. It's actually, it's a great area to get a, a photo op. Get a family photo op, selfie, whatever. And I plan to do that later this trip. The final section, which again, I apologize, I forgot about, so it's a surprise, is the basketball section. The staircases here are themed to be the cheerleader uh, megaphones that surround the staircases, multiple multitude of colors. You have, um, again, mostly green buildings, slightly different shade of green. You have basketball hoops of different designs. You have the square ones and then have the more rounded ones on the on the railings with basketballs in motion. Looks like they're shooting through the hoops. And in the center at the icons, you have giant whistles. Yeah, giant whistles. Giant red whistles. And in the courtyard area, which is a little more obscure versus the the other ones. Don't have like a, a grass carpet. It wants, it's artificial turf. You actually have real grass in this area. But you have giant, my goodness, they're probably about 20 feet tall. Yeah, about three stories tall. They're as, as tall as the, the buildings themselves. Basketball hoops. And you have a half court or a foul circle on one side, grass, center court with some trees, and then another, another section, another uh, foul section. Ugh, shot whistle area. You can, along the top here, again, you have the colleges. You have the college banners on top. You have, again, Blue Devils, Sooners, Cavaliers, Eagles, all college pennants. All about. But strangely enough, it's not like a real, I mean, they have some benches. I guess the kids could play in it, but it's not the same as the football or the tennis area where it's it's as welcoming of a play area. This is definitely more aesthetic like than the other two. But and then just past this area is the woods. You don't really adjacent any other other resort directly. You do you can get to the other all-star resorts from each other they're all relatively pretty close this is the first one that you come to 
Again, it is also the oldest of them. We got some swamp back here. I wouldn't go wandering too far off the uh, the walking path. And again, this comes back back around to the parking lots. You can follow this path around to the main uh, main building. All roads lead to Rome, as it were, in the All-Stars. I'm sorry for the wind. Again, you have Tropical Storm Nicole coming down soon on us. So there you have it, the All-Star Sports. The rooms typically have two full-size beds. It's a full-size or... It's, no, I apologize, not full-size beds, two double beds. You have two double beds, mini fridge, TV, some storage, you have the separate sink area from, and then you have a bathroom with a, that can be separated off with the door. The sink area has got the, uh, it's got a little curtain. The new rooms, I was able to get a peek at what the new rooms are gonna look like. They have a sliding door like you can find in a lot of the newer, some of the uh, moderate resorts. Uh, I know Coronado has had the sliding doors for a while, so has uh, Caribbean Beach has them now. So you have the sliders that are going to give a little more privacy than the, the curtain that's out there at the moment. That's in the older rooms. Again, if you get to be in one of the newer rooms, you won't have to worry about that so much. Some storage. Not too much as far as the pulling out. Uh, as for drawers, got some space under the bed. Got hangers in a safe, relatively small safe. You can fit, you can't even fit an iPad in there. So maybe a phone, maybe uh, your wallet, keys, small valuables, nothing big like a laptop iPad, tablet, for the most part, will not fit in there. If you have a Nintendo Switch, that will fit in there. But that's about the extent of it. Rooms are decent. They have a t currently have a table. They're going to be replacing the table with like a little work desk area, which should be nice. They're carpeted in the old rooms. The new rooms are going to be the vinyl flooring that they seem to be putting in a lot of the the newer refurbs they're doing this that also over at caribbean beach when i was there last year i noticed that so have you stayed here at the all-star resorts let me know share it on uh, in the socials tell us join our facebook group facebook.com slash disney marvel yeah i keep on going with the old name i apologize that's facebook.com slash WDMagicCast. Find us on Twitter, YouTube, and on TikTok and Instagram at WDMagicCast. You can also, like I said, find us on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and like the channel there. Turn on notifications. Facebook, especially this week. Hopefully you're catching this episode on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, or even Saturday. I'll be going live, live from the parks. You want to catch up there, so make sure you turn on notifications on Facebook. Invite your friends along. And while you're at it, please, thank you. Thank you for listening. Um, I really appreciate, appreciate the time that we get to spend together. I am so blessed that we, as a team and a group, are able to do these shows for you. Um, over 200 episodes. We have all five-star reviews at the moment on uh on apple itunes uh, apple podcast stitcher please keep them coming um, it does not go unnoticed tell your friends share out the links on social let them know about the wd magic cast help this family keep growing because won't believe in a big disney family and so do i don't forget to like and subscribe to the podcast while you're at it and while you're also at it consider becoming a premium subscriber really help the show out you can do this over at anchor.fm support uh, anchor.fm slash 
wdmagicast/support. Sorry, doing this one from memory. I usually have a script that I follow. <laughs> While you're at it, also leave a rating review on Apple Podcasts. Like I said, they don't go unnoticed. And thank you. Um, make sure you go to our shop. Check out a lot of the WD Magic Cast merch that we have. Great holiday stuff coming up. A lot of sales going on. Join in there. That will also really help the show out. You could also leave us a voice memo. I forgot to mention the voice memo. Do that over at anchor.fm slash WD Magicast. You could send us a voice message through there or record a message on your electronic device and email it to us at email at wdmagicast.com. Links to all of these are in the show notes. Thank you again for listening, everyone. Always believe in yourself. You are beautiful. You are fantastic. There is no one else like you, and there's a good reason for that. Because you have a gift to share with the world. It may not be the big gift. It may be a smaller gift. But it is a gift that no one else ever has. Be your own hero. Never give up. Never give in. And also remember, someone out there will help you if you need help. Do not be afraid to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of great strength. Now I'd like to end this week's show with a quote from Walt Disney, of, of course. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. And on that, thank you again for listening, everyone. And I'll see you next time.